Shabbat, we celebrate Rosh Chodesh Elul. Rosh Chodesh was actually the first mitzvah given to B'nai Israel while they were still in Egypt, but were a freed nation. One aspect of freedom is that as a freed person, you have the ability to decide what your priorities are and how you want to spend your time. Someone who is enslaved does not have that opportunity. They have to spend their time however their master tells them to spend their time. For us today, Rosh Chodesh can represent an opportunity to reevaluate our priorities and think about how we're spending our time. Think about if perhaps we want to change the ways that we're spending our time and if the ways that we're spending our time reflect our priorities. This past year, I had the opportunity to facilitate a Rosh Chodesh group called Rosh Chodesh It's a Girl Thing for our 7th and 8th grade girls. Each month, we would meet in my apartment, and we together we created a safe space in which the girls could talk about important issues like friendship, sexuality, what it means to be a young girl today becoming a woman in a Jewish context. I'm excited to tell you that this year, we will be adding a group to our Rosh Chodesh, it's a girl thing program. So we will now have a group for sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth grade girls. We'll be having a program called A Taste of Rosh Chodesh on September 30th at Anshe Emet during the sukkah decorating party. Please contact me, Rebecca Krasner, or Rabbi David Russo, if you think your daughter granddaughter, niece, cousin, or just a friend that you know might be interested in participating in this program. Chodesh Tov and Shabbat Shalom.